Right, guys, welcome to another episode of Advice with Alex and Friends, the podcast. I'm your host, Alex, and I'm joined uh, with a really special guest, the person who owns the studio. <laughs> uh-huh. Hi, guys. What's Do you want up? to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Vic. I am a producer mm-hmm. known as Vic Tizzle. Um, I also run the studio, Vic's Mix Studios. And I'm just an all round cool brother. Yeah. Emmy. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, and your What's socials? Oh, uh, socials. Um, so we've got my social, Vic Tizzle mm-hmm. Music. Um, and you've got the Vic Mix Studios um, on the Instagram. So just Vic Mix and at Vic Website, www.vixmixstudios.com. Go in there, book sessions. Yeah, this work. For real, for real. <laughs> and um, obviously, yeah. I've got to remember to do mine as well. So, Advice of Alex on Instagram and mm-hmm. Twitter as well. And you can follow me personally at From Alexandra X on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And obviously, if you're watching it on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe as well. So, yeah, yeah we'll get into it. So, yes, yes. did you do the nonsensical thing of the week? No, I'm not going to. You, you didn't. I forgot. It. But forgot. one came straight to okay, mind just okay, now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Even oh, is it just one one thing? You can listen. Talk about whatever it is Man, that you want to talk about. It's fine. That um, you know, I I don't want to be emotional about it, but that I used to carry thing okay. was jarring. Why to me? Why and why it was jarring because it didn't have to be said publicly. Mm. First and foremost, I understand. You know, I understand the women, the nature of women, mm-hmm. like women's like like general nature. And I understand the nature of men as well. And personally, that did not need to be said. Okay. It didn't need to be said publicly. That's something you, you, you keep, keep yourself. with your... Not necessarily to yourself, but, you know, you got your... Um, your girl, your close family, girl. You, yeah. Your family, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, or at least to someone that has, you know, like, at least at least discuss it with someone that, you know, can, can um, help you in terms of, like, your marriage and your... Like you know a counsellor, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. necessarily need to be a no, professional counsellor, but yeah. someone that, you know, a that you're accountable something. to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like someone that you're you are account- like you you are accountable to that can help you and be like, all right, cool, you know, this is a you know, these thoughts coming every now and again, but you need to, you know, da 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 da. But you went and did this on Big Bad TV, you know, with millions of followers and mm-hmm. stuff. I don't and that was the bit that shamed, got blown up. In my up. opinion, you shamed your husband. Like that's that's embarrassing. Like but if a man came on uh, uh, on, on 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 TV and, and did all the uh, like, she got mad love for you know people and you know. No, people did it her. in the beginning. I, people her, did it well, in the in beginning. In the beginning, and then what, that, what happened? Um. Okay. I I don't know. Wait. I don't. I, I, no, I don't know what happened. But initially, when I saw the clip, because um, I don't like to just see like a couple of seconds and then. Mm go off of that so I said let me go and watch the red the tape thing, talk. Yeah. So, so I watched the whole thing and I understood where it is that she's coming from I think originally the reason why there was some backlash from women I don't know about in regards to men I just mm. looked at women's reactions was because Aisha well Aisha has kind of painted herself in this light um, you know good Christian wife and she's tweeted a couple of things that have been seen as problematic so like oh uh, you know Some girls, they like to dress provocatively, but that's not really my thing. I like to be conservative. And some Mm. people class her as a like a Mm, mm. pick-me. So it's like, oh, but wait, when when these other girls are getting their um, attention for how they're dressing, weren't you putting Mm, these same mm, girls mm, down mm, almost? mm. So, so yeah. So from women, that was the thing in the beginning. And then there was a big shift like, oh, sis, I understand what it is that you're saying, where you're coming from. So yeah, I don't know about the the male reaction. All I know is that her husband supported her publicly anyway. I think he, uh, was... he doesn't want no problems. <laughs> that 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 to me, in my opinion, that's that, that those are actions of a beta male, and I mean that in the sense of ooh, like, ooh. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a, it's just like you know what I mean. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> like, okay. I don't mean it in a disrespectful mm-hmm, way. Mm-hmm. It's just like those are the actions. Okay. Of, Beta male, like you are the man, you are the head of your household. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm not saying it in the sense of you know, ah, oh, you know, you women are slaves. Or da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like stuff all of that. Like, every, people need to chill and actually like think for themselves, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. and do research and learn about. You know what I'm saying? 
But as a man, you are the head of your household, point yeah. blank, period. Do you understand? And I think if the woman is the head of your household, I'll be real with you, that's it's problematic. And I mean that in the sense of, like, there's a reason that men are put as the head of the house. Like, the natural order is mm-hmm. God, the man, the woman, mm-hmm. and then the children. That's the natural order. Yeah. Men were very, very... We are made... Uh, there's a reason we're made very logical. Mm-hmm. Because we make decisions. We think. We don't just act off emotion. We think. We take time. We have to... Do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes even go in our little space and really just, like, take this in and... This situation now, okay, how am I going to lead my family into this? Yeah. Da, da, da. That's, these are the things we think of. Do you know what I'm saying? We're, think, we, we're always thinking of the entire family. Like, what direction are we going to go in? We actually take the time to think. We seek counsel. And so then we'll make a decision. Mm-hmm. That's why when, when, like, love to a man is very, um, isn't feeling-based. That's one mm-hmm. thing I realise. Mm-hmm. I, I realise, I look at a lot of women, it's very feeling-based for women. Yeah, yeah, for real. Because the moment those well, feelings Well, for me, disappear, anyway, I can, let, me not, let me not speak for I, other people. Listen, when I say women, yeah, I don't mean all I'm women, speaking but for I myself. mean the average yes. woman. Yes, yes, I, yeah. I'll, I'll okay. keep it real. And, and I'll keep it 100% real. Yeah. That's majority of, of women. Okay. Like, in, in my opinion, anyway. That's majority so what, of women. So what is love for a man? For a man, it's a decision. Okay. It is a commitment. It's a decision. Okay. We think about... That's why it takes us a long time. Time to say... To yeah. really decide and mm-hmm. say, all right, cool. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. But for women, it is very emotional. They need there needs to be this rush of feelings. There needs to be this, like, do you know what I'm saying? And the moment those feelings start to disappear or calm down or whatever, they start to question, oh, am I really in love with this guy? Does this guy love me? Da-da-da-da-da. They start having all these questions and then, then they start to act off of these emotions that they're feeling. Do you know what I'm saying? They could like be angry one minute, they could be upset one moment, yeah. or they could question themselves, all because the feelings have changed. And then they start questioning again, do I love this man? It's like, but for men, once a man decides that he loves a woman, that's it. Do you know what I'm saying? He, he loves that woman, yeah. and he loves his family, and mm-hmm. et cetera. So that can't change. Even if the woman's been bitchy, doing all of this like madness. So is that, is, is that why like, certain men stay in situations that don't make sense? Hmm? Is that why certain guys stay in situations that no, no, don't no, make I think, sense? I think, no, no, no. A, a man can walk away. Absolutely. Okay, okay. So like, you I, can... think, I think men that do that are beta males. Okay. That's a, those are actions of beta males. And how... Staying in, you see, yeah, like, see this whole alpha beta. Like, how, yeah. how do you differentiate between the two of them? I, I believe a man is a man without a woman. Okay. First. Oh, okay. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be able to take care of yourself. You have mm. to be able to take care of your, uh, your house. You have to mm-hmm. be able to... Do you understand? Fend for yourself. Do all of these things first for yourself first. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to make decisions. You have to be able to, like, do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Be a man. Mm-hmm. Being able, um, and then a woman is like, it's almost like you, a woman comes and adds to that. Do you know what I'm saying? She's yeah. helping the vision, the overall lead and the overall vision of the man. Mm-hmm. And like a woman will come. Like, that's why, um, like even going back to like the Bible and the, and the, and the initial, like, and I'm very wary about like the Bible as well because I do know that it's been, do you understand, you know, mm-hmm. meddled with and whatnot. But the the core of it is still in there. When you really look into it and you really research, there's a lot of stuff that's been taken out. A lot of books have been taken out yeah. of the Bible as well, the the original. But when you look at, um, you know, in the beginning, like um, the man was made first. Man was made to. He was given a job. He was given a task. His purpose. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then God is like, all right, cool. I'll give you this job. I'll give you this purpose. But there ain't nothing out there that's going to, like, it's helping you right now. Ain't nothing out there that's going to Yeah, it's not easy working it's, by yourself. This is yeah, long. yeah, yeah. Like, yo, you need something. Boom. Let me put you in the sleep. Took out the rib. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Built woman. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Woman's job was to help the man. Mm-hmm. Every, all, even all the commandments and everything that God gave the man in, in, in the garden, I'm saying, don't eat from this. Don't yeah. do that. That was given to the man. It wasn't given to the woman. Yeah, if you read it, was it for like, him to instruct her. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why women, um, whether they want to admit it or not, they seek validation from their man. Do you know what I'm saying? Because even okay, even when even when when you look at it again, the punishment that God, when you look at the punishment, the punishment was given. Majority of the punishments and the harsh punishments were given to Eve. Yeah, people don't clock it like. There's something, and I think that there's something at the back like is that's been taken out of that 
whole section. Okay. I don't think I don't believe it was just a fruit or whatever. You know, just at the fruit of the tree, and in the, I think it was deeper. You think she did more? Or do I you, think she or, did or, more. Or do you just think it was symbolic? No, no, no. No. no? I okay. think something happened because there's a lot of scriptures further in the Bible mm-hmm, that refer that back to it. Refer back to okay. something happening in that garden. That I believe that has been taken out. What did you do? What did you do? I I have my suspicions. Do you know what I'm saying? As to what it really was. Because when you look at the punishment, the punishment was to her womb. The punishment was to her seed. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And then he said, like, even when he punished the serpent, he said, I'm punishing... um, He said, I'm... Do you think maybe she cheated? If you want... That 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 would make sense. Absolutely. That would make sense. That's what I've... That's the conclusion I've come to. I think that serpent mated with... Eve. Eve. Yeah. And then, and then she went and taught the same action to Adam. Okay. So the, the two that were born, there was mm-hmm. two that were born, and there is, there is such thing as a um. I've I've read I've read about it. There's a such thing as a birth that can be ha- that can um happen with two fathers. Yeah. So there's twins. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, can yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. there's it's yeah. an actual thing. Yeah. There's a window that there's, you can yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is why God hated um Cain. I asked the question: Why did God just randomly just hate Cain? Mm-hmm. I don't think Cain belonged to God. Right. I think Cain belonged to the serpent. Yeah. And this is what they don't teach in, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? But yeah. this is from... The, I've been really studying this, like, and it took me a long time to really just, like, accept it. But this is the conclusion that I've come to. Yeah. So, anyway, like, this is why God punished Eve. Mm-hmm. Like, and he said, you will become a slave to your husband. Okay. Or well, I don't know if those were the exact okay, words, okay. but do you understand? You yeah. become. Da, da, da. I said when women sleep with men, that um, there's something that emotionally kicks in. Do you understand? And then it they they become attached to attached, that. Attached, yeah, an attachment to that man. Yeah. Do you understand? I think it's part of that curse that was put on from Eve. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's now we're in 2019. That's why I think a lot of the whole. You know, women, men can run around and sleep with da, 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 but women can't. Da, 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 da. I think a lot of that is a bit of I call it dick envy. Like, and it's, <laughs> it's not the disrespect of women, but I feel like a lot of women, like it's almost like they're envious at because let's be real, a man's nature is to spread seeds, and it is. And I'm not saying it's good to cheat. Mm-hmm. I think the cheating is the lying part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I said not, to you, you're being dishonest. be my wife, I've got yeah. ten wives. Be my wives. It's now your choice mm-hmm. to, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to join, to join that join, rank yeah. of yeah. wives. You know what I'm saying? Like it is a man's nature. Again, I'm not condoning cheating because cheating. I believe the cheating part does come in the lying. But it is a man's nature. When you look at nature everywhere. Even like seeds, there's millions of seeds. Mm-hmm. Women are the are like the soil that nurture the seed and mm-hmm. grow the the uh, the, um, the seed, the the, the yeah. product of the seed. Do you know what I'm saying? So really, I'm going. I'm, my mind just no. Going, it's fine. Like, <laughs> it's like by law, the baby, the child belongs to you know the woman, but by nature, the child actually belongs belongs to the man. Okay, now, now, now. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm okay, spinning yeah, things. Yeah, now you're spinning uh, cool. it. Because okay, okay. when you think about it, right. seed. Uh-huh. When I put seed, an apple seed, in the soil, what comes out? A, a tree. Yeah. Or, yeah. And yeah, a tree or whatever, tree, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or let's say I put whatever the seed, but like, remember everything was made off its, it's off its own kind and to okay. reproduce okay. off its own kind. Yeah. So you carry the blood of your father. Mm-hmm. Same yeah. way, exactly. Yeah, you you know, don't carry I'm, the blood of your mother. I okay. Genetic. Okay. Go and look at it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I I understand what you're saying in yeah. terms of like even when it comes to nationality. Traditionally, it was where your where your father is from. That's the nationality mm-hmm. that you take. Mm-hmm. Um, that's because the yeah. seed of your father. You, you are your father's seed. Mm-hmm. Your the, the men carry the seed. Women. That's why women only have one egg coming out a month. Men have millions of sperm yeah, every yeah. day. What does that tell you? They, I guess to, it's a hard, yeah. it's a hard one to swallow, but yeah. it's facts. But then, majority of them don't even make it to the egg anyway. Okay. So a lot but of still, them die. A lot of them die. Still, there, there needs to be many of them in order for them to of, get a lot, there. A lot of, a lot of. No, I don't think that's the case. I think the case is the fact that it's, it's seed. Even in an apple, when mm-hmm. you open an apple, there's loads of seed. Yeah. And bananas, lo- or but in, what, original before bananas. they yeah, changed it, yeah. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Strawberries, Caesar all over. Yeah. Like, 
Is that because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same thing. You put the seed in the soil, or it's like saying you're cooking a, um, uh, you're cooking a, uh, baking a cake or whatever. Yeah. You, know? you put the cake in the oven, you know what I'm saying? And you take the cake out of the oven. So you're saying, but what I'm That's taking away from you is the, the, the woman is the vessel. Okay. <laughs> and that doesn't but this is the problem here yeah. I feel like emotionally everyone gets like, like angry at hearing things yeah. like that because again they're, you, they're thinking or well, not even thinking but they're using emotion yeah 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 do you know what I'm saying but that when you actually look at it and you look at the genetic you look at the science behind it mm-hmm. it's telling you that's what that's what it is mm-hmm. because how is it that yeah and yeah they do carry some genetics from the mother as well yeah. but how is it that the blood type which is Blood is what carries the life, the DNA, mm-hmm. the red blood cells down to the DNA, the atoms. How is it that the blood is always the father's? Um, no, but the red, carries the father, father's blood. But red blood cells, are oh, that um, they don't have um, they don't have like nucleus. They don't have any nuclei in them. They don't have any. No, it's the plasma that carries okay. the. Um, That's got it. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, but I don't know. But it's all in the blood. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I'm not going to say that <laughs> I don't agree, know how we but got I'm, here to I'm, I'm hearing you. Not, uh, but it's good. It's good. Even if, like, at the end of a conversation, even if you don't agree with somebody, I believe it's important to listen. Yeah, So definitely. I'm always but going you know, to yeah, listen. Yeah. Like, you don't have to, don't take what I'm, I, this is to everyone, don't take what I'm saying as truth. Go and look into it yourself. Yeah, 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 sure. That's what I tell everyone. Oh, for sure. Like, I can, the reason I can speak so confidently about it is because, because I've actually research, looked yeah. for years, do you know what I'm saying? I've looked into it. And then I, I, you know, and I, and I've looked at both sides as well, mm-hmm. kind of thing, all, all different kinds of sides. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not afraid. That, this can go on the internet. I don't really care. Like, I'm, I'm telling, I'm saying what I've studied and what I've learned. Yeah. And if new information comes and it, you know what I'm saying? And like, then cool, fair enough. Then you change with the two. Yeah, of course. Everything like, science, you know science, I mean? all the science we've got and, today is and, not and, wasn't always around. You know, you know things get updated. Yeah, but this true. is just this is where I'm at right now. Like, that. Yeah. So that I used to carry thing back to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think the main my main I don't really care. Like I'm not surprised. I do feel like a lot of women are not satisfied. They're not satisfied. They they're always wanting more. More and more. Even if they have everything, they will yeah. always want more and more yeah. and more and more. So I'm not surprised at that side of things. I'm just, I was more surprised at the fact that you went and opened your mouth on big, big national Because it was, TV. it was disturbing her spirit. No, listen, <laughs> disturbing her spirit. <laughs> her emotions, her spirit. man, she was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Things can disturb my spirit as okay, well. Okay, but, but you I keep it yourself, yeah. Why is this to, I, mean, I'm saying, mm-hmm. I have to think about my There's family. There's a time and a place for everything. Who I'm embarrassing. Or, or, or potentially be, be embarrassing, do you understand? It didn't need to be said on public TV. It could have been said behind closed doors mm-hmm. with your friends, your mother, do you understand? Mm. Your, your husband's mother mm-hmm. or whatever, you feel me? Or someone that, you know, you can, you're can you held accountable to, mm-hmm. that you can, you know what I'm saying? Reason with. Yeah. But you went on big, big TV with all these feminists, like, that, you know, and I'm not, nothing against feminists, but oh, I do t- to a degree. But, like, you know what I mean? It's just There was just no... <laughs> and I love Jada Pinkett. I actually love her. I do. And But, you know... You don't have to agree with something that somebody says. But on the, on the flip yeah. side of what you're saying, mm. in regards to what she said, I think there's this. There's two things. So, fair enough, you don't agree that she said it on that platform, but... On any platform. On any, okay, on any platform. <laughs> you, do, you don't agree that she should have said it in that kind of space, fair mm. enough. But the one good thing that has happened, I suppose, from her saying it is that it's now out for her as well. Because some people, and I think a lot of these celebrities, they don't actually get to live their truth. So mm-hmm. the fact that it came out then, who knows? Like, it might have just been a slip that it even came out. That Does that make slip, sense? Man. You think that she no, went that there intentionally no... and said, this is what I'm going to say. I don't think she went say. intentionally to yeah. say that. Yeah. But... You're on, it's like, you're on, you know where you are. Yeah. You're not stupid. You know where you are. You know where this is going. You know what the red table talk is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it was just a slip. I think she wanted, she had the opportunity to finally, like I'm saying, let it out. Well, really, that's something you keep, again, you keep off camera. This is a family you're talking about. I think, I genuinely think, like, I, and I do believe she was a, like, you know, a good girl or whatever. You know, 
I don't think anyone's a good yeah, whatever. But within, within a certain parameters, I, I think yeah. She probably never had a whole period. She probably, do you know what I'm saying? So now that ratchet culture is very much in, pop culture. Yeah. You get me? And she's probably surrounded by some of her friends who may be a bit ratchet or whatever. She feels, oh, I missed out. Like, yo, da, 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 my husband's getting... And that's the one thing that pissed me off about what she said. Mm-hmm. My, It was dick envy. My husband <laughs> is getting groupies. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's made me feel a certain type of yeah. way. Like, I'm just like, yo, sorry. No. I'm just like, yo, that, so you're not... Are you doing it because, you know, you really feel this way? Or is it just because your husband is getting... You know what I'm saying? Groupies or whatever. Yeah. So, but she, 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 um, she admitted that she is jealous and she admitted that she's okay. got issues and she admitted that she's the aggressive one of the two of them. She mm-hmm. did admit her flaws. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I watched the whole thing. So that's why I guess I'm not as hard on her. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't hold, Women don't hold each other accountable. I'm not... <laughs> that's, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not getting at you. Uh, please don't get... I'm not getting at you. I'm not getting at you. Yeah. Oh my I have people gonna hate me. I don't actually, I don't care. But I'm saying facts. Yeah. Women, you no, and I know no, no. you as a woman uh, know this. Okay, and you agree, women but I tell you what, don't we don't hold each other accountable, accountable publicly. Publicly. Mo- publicly. Uh, we don't do it publicly. Uh, we don't do it publicly. Alice, we don't do it publicly. Alice, do it publicly. Alice, but behind closed doors, yes, I will Alice. get onto my people. I'm not you know, gonna do yeah? it publicly. I'm You're not gonna do it one of the man. Few. Yeah. You're one of the few. Yeah. Do you understand? Because I've seen a lot of women. Like, okay, for example, mm-hmm. let's say one of your homegirl gets a, you know, like another man, she's with another man. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you lot will group together and talk about your girl, do you understand? And say, oh, she's with another man again. Instead of talking to her and say, listen, yeah. homegirl, like, fix up, do you understand? Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. the 10th man, you know what I mean? Yeah. This month, like, maybe spend some time by yourself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Most girls don't do that. A lot of girls don't do that. They will let each other go and do, do you know what I'm saying? And man, probably even egg each other on. Like, instead of actually just, like, it's, I feel like they, they are, it's like, you know when, like, someone's emotional or sensitive, mm-hmm. like, when it becomes too much, you kind of start to avoid it and, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I feel like, this, I don't know, it's my opinion, isn't it? But I feel like maybe they don't want, they know that that person's going to get emotional, so they, they're afraid of that reaction from yeah, them yeah, or they yeah. don't want that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So they're like, oh, you know what, just... But with some people, you can't, you actually can't. There's some people that, like, you try and talk to them, but you you can't get through. And if that's the case, then I would, for me, my own sanity, my own energy, mm-hmm. I need to be away from you because I can't deal with that constantly. Mm-hmm. But going back to what you said, I, I think a, some women, the reason why they don't say anything is, number one, because they don't care. They actually don't care. A lot of friendship groups, mm. there are people that people call each other friends, but they're not friends. Mm. Because for me, the definition of a friend doesn't mean that, oh, you know, we go out together, we do this, this and this together. My mm. friend is somebody who I value your opinion, for one. Mm-hmm. And I know that you're going to be honest with me as well when I'm talking to you about something. Mm. But you must speak with love. Don't just kind of speak to me anyhow, because then I'm going to be resistant to what it is that you're saying. But I feel like mm. when you say something and you say it with, I know this person actually cares for me, I'm going to mm-hmm. listen to you. If I don't care for your opinion, then if you're not saying what I, I think you should say, then I'll, I'll probably switch off, that kind of mm-hmm. thing. That's me personally. But a mm-hmm. lot of people, the reason why they don't hold other women accountable is because when certain people look stupid, they're like, mm-hmm. okay, that's not my business. I'm, it's not me that looks stupid. I think mm-hmm. that, that there's that aspect of it as well. I see that so lot, it's yeah. not even... It's not even a, oh, we know she's doing something wrong and we want to mm-hmm. be for female empowerment because there's a lot of women who... They don't like... They don't like other women. They don't. There's but a, they would still befriend them. That's, yeah, that's but weird. Yeah, but it's twisted. And I don't think I'll ever understand <laughs> that logic. It is, it is. There's a lot that's of weird. underlying issues. But ultimately, a lot of women have been taught to be each other's competition mm. and not to be friends. And that's why when I look at women that say, oh, I can't, I don't have any female friends. Would you say that like this, this is taught though or would you say that this is nature? Um, because when you look at like, women by nature are survivalists. mm mm-hmm. So they're able to, they're able to, they're, they can be very, very manipulative as well. Like, again, I'm, I'm saying. You say, you say what you need woman, to say. The He's, average, do you okay, understand? Okay. Because there are the above averages yeah. as well that, mm-hmm. you know, a bit more, 
they understand their nature, so yeah. they're like, all right, cool. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? You have to be, aware. I guess you have to be aware. And aware. You're, you're taking That's away very, the very... fact that a lot of people are not aware with themselves mm-hmm. because especially in this, this... It's a very subconscious thing. Yes, but also I feel like, for example, living in London, it's a busy city and it's very mm-hmm. easy for you to just kind of go with the flow and mm-hmm. not be in tune with you personally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you're not taught to be in tune, if the people around you are not in tune with themselves, mm-hmm. uh, then it's very easy for you to like not ever engage and sit down mm-hmm. and always just be chasing. A lot of people are lost and they might look like they've got it together, mm-hmm. but they don't. So, you know, that if you are in tune with yourself, then you're going to make better decisions. Mm-hmm. and. Surround yourself with people who also make sense. Mm-hmm. You know, like you would attract more people. Yeah, like you that will. As well. uh, yeah, and mm-hmm. ultimately you will attract people as well. You know, when mm-hmm. you look around the people in your life and you think, oh, do you know what? This person irritates me. I don't want to talk to this person. Or why am I with this guy or whatever? I mm-hmm. think you have to sit down and ask yourself, okay, like for me, it's like God. Okay, what do you want to show me? Mm-hmm. Um, and then you kind of just go in and reflect. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the answer is always there. And then, because mm. people come in, we know, for reasons and seasons. And then, you know, some people are meant to stay, some people mm. are meant to go. But not everybody is in tune. Mm-hmm. And that's why I personally, whenever I look at people, I, I treat them as kids. I know it's true. It's a COVID mental... Listen, if you, <gasps> listen, that's, my, that that's still... one of my best <laughs> bits of advice. Treat people as children. Mm. When someone is rude to you or mean to you mm. or lashes out at you and you ain't done nothing to them... Mm-mm. Why would I take this personally? I didn't do nothing mm, to you. Mm, mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're having a hard day. You're having a hard day because something happened <laughs> and you to need you. To lash out on some... You need to lash yeah. out. If I sit down and internalize what this person is going through, yeah. that's gonna mess up my day. Mm, mm, now, bearing mm. in mind, I'm not perfect. That's, that's a very mature, happen- logical Listen, way of. I couldn't cope in my job. <laughs> I couldn't cope in my job if I didn't have this way of thinking. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know? So Definitely. just treat people as kids. Once you treat people as kids and you mm. kind of sit down and you think, oh, do you know what? You're acting this way because of whatever personal mm. reasons are going on with you. God be with you. Mm, mm, mm. Like, I, I can only focus on myself. Mm. I'm the only, I can only be accountable for me. I can't mm-hmm. be accountable for anybody oh, else that's around me. Mm-hmm. For real. Like, and that's another thing mm. that a lot of people do. You're out, out here trying to change people. You mm, can't. Mm, you can't, yeah. You can't. Even if that person changed, they changed because they wanted to. Mm. And even if you think you changed them, that person might turn around and say... be an example. Yeah, that's it. By focusing on yourself and building Mm -hmm. yourself. That's why I say you got to really work on yourself first. Yeah. You got to build yourself first. And it's a continuous thing. You're not fixed today Mm -hmm. and then that's it. Oh my gosh. Move on. Like... You're you're ever learning. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. But a lot of people are Mm. scared... To look within because there's gonna be things in there that you don't like about yourself. Mm. There's gonna be like trauma that's built up over time that you 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 forgot was there. Mm. Um, and that's even like I'm really appreciative of the people that I have around me in terms of my friends, and I don't mm. joke about that, jo- joke about with them because mm. I know like just from talking to them, I'm like oh, it just triggers something, you know. Mm. And I'm like, you know, I need to go back and I need to deal with that mm. because if it festers. Mm-hmm. You don't know how it's going to be like Manifest, in your life. Yeah. In your life. Yeah. So, Definitely, man. But people like, are scared to do that. And I don't blame them people for being are scared. scared. People are scared in this in this era because I believe a lot of it is because of social media. Like, and I think our parents are worse. Our parents' generation like, are worse. They're, they're, I wouldn't say they're worse. I think they're worse. They're just stuck in the... Like, when you get to a certain age, mm-hmm. you, you get stuck. You know what I'm saying because yeah. you lived life, you know it's it all. Way, okay. Yeah, so you got. <laughs> I mean, because it's, it's worse when you're stubborn. <laughs> That's what I'm saying because you're stuck in a certain way and, and you're stubborn about it. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? So, but I feel like, um, but you also have to remember they come from a completely different generation. We can easily go on so, on internet now mm-hmm. and just find any information we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, it's a lot more work. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's a lot more work. Right. You know what I mean? Because because they're stuck in that, you know, they're thinking, oh, all the libraries are shut. <laughs> <laughs> Man can't go library. What? Uh, but I've got bills to pay. No, I've but got, these, no, I don't have time to jump no, in. No, these people know how to use it because I'm sure that your mum has sent you on WhatsApp. Everyday WhatsApp. This, yeah. this, that. They know how to send you videos because on that's whatever. that's what they know. Do you know yeah. what I mean? They don't know that, you know, there's information on the internet. They probably devalued that information it's because true. it's on the internet. Yeah. But, the reality is, this is the, like, 
there is information and there's disinformation, but um, this is this is the form of this is books now. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, All collated this into is, one, yeah. yeah. This is information. Even the Bible said last days there'll be um information will be like do you know what I'm saying, it'll be ev- knowledge will spread, it'll be everywhere. Like this <laughs> Yeah. This is it. So you can't even like bash people for getting the information from the internet because well this is where else where, where well, else where am from? I gonna get it from? Like, and just because it's in a book doesn't mean it's yeah. any more credible than I mean I could even go as far as I, I read that uh, um prior to the nineteen hundreds like that's why if you want more um credible information you have to get books from that are pre nineteen um hundreds mm-hmm. because once um the uh let's just put it frank once the white people uh, took uh, hold of the printing pre- printing press <laughs> in the 1900s. Mm-hmm. Like basically, if you want to control information, yes. you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. So once they took hold so, of the yeah printing press in the 1900s, they started rewriting everything. Which they rewrite history. They, they didn't rewrite. They they, they, they threw they, books in the bin and created their own yeah, ones. That's what, that, that's what they did. There you go. And they they changed a lot of information. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how you can control. That's how you control the future. Control yeah. the world. By changing the know, history of history and of making what people yeah. seem like they are weak and mm-hmm. vulnerable, and this is all you you've ever amounted to in history, and that's your trajectory moving mm-hmm. forward. So yeah, of course, that's why history, for the longest part, has you know mm-hmm. it's only ever taught us about uh, us as black people about slavery because it's a reminder. Mm-hmm. Okay. We want to keep you incarcerated. We want to keep you low. We don't ever want to talk about your triumphs, which which mm. outdoes any time that we were down. But that's that's our other day. Listen, I have a lot of energy for that. I have a lot of <laughs> I'm energy. I'm ready for that day. <laughs> yeah. But slowly things are starting to come through. Even like, for example, um, talking about genetics and, mm. you know, who what were the first people on earth? What did they look like? Mm, you know, mm, for the mm. longest time, people tried to say that they were fairer skinned. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Um, which wouldn't work because mm. if that was the case, we know scientifically that there are um, genes are recessive mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. darker ones are dominant. So mm-hmm. if that was the case, in the Bible, if I want to go, 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 really go in, if I want to go in, it was a curse. What to be fair skinned? To be white skinned. Okay. And that's no disrespect to white people. I'm just yeah, yeah. Talking what like it was, it was a curse, leprosy. Mm. Because when you think about it, like, there's so much diseases that come with lack of men in it. Yeah. There's, you know what I mean? You can't, you can barely sit out or stand out in the sun, which is supposed to, remember, everything in nature is meant to feed you and sustain you. And if the sun is killing you, which is nature, then there's some, <laughs> something is wrong with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, anyway, that's a whole nother... That's, listen, that's a I'm whole other something. In, uh, it's okay, it's okay. But, uh, listen. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is important to kind of do your own research and... Definitely. But as much as the, you know, technology is a blessing, it's also a curse in the sense that a lot of people are lazy. So mm. they kind of rely... And you see it all the time on Twitter. Like, there's so many... Like, or Instagram, not so much. I feel feel like with Instagram, people just kind of post their pictures and videos and keep it moving. I think Twitter is the kind of platform where people are very vocal with what it is that they're saying. And a I lot think of, Instagram as well, you know. Um, I think it depends who you follow. Instagram as well. Do you think like of, with videos? But I think it's easy to avoid it with, because with, with Instagram, it was mm. set up for pictures and pictures really. And that's what the majority of people are there to do. That's not what it's become anymore. It's become yeah. a place of... Almost like Twitter, but with visuals. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and it's very much you know you can you can you can you, on Twitter you can you can talk you can say, mm-hmm. but on it's like on Instagram you can you can show if that makes sense. I got what you mean. I get what you. But mean. you can show something that you're not. Mm. Okay. Twitter, I... Twitter, you can only talk something that you're not. Yeah. Does that make sense? I see what you mean. On Instagram, you could be someone <laughs> that you're not. <laughs> that you're not. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> literally. And get you know paid for it I too, just learned but... the other day about Facetune. Um, I couldn't really... <laughs> Where have you been? Come on. Listen, I don't dibble dabble in any of that. It's uh, fine, but you know, if there's Photoshop, then stuff, yeah, man. there'll be Facetune. I just couldn't believe it. How many people actually use that 
I'm just like, wow. Like, what have we become? We've actually... I don't think that we've evolved. I don't... I hate when people even say the word evolved because that's not what we're doing in society. We are regressing. <laughs> we have regressed heavily. How is it that the ancients were, in the sun, you know, super intelligent? Yeah. I don't think that we're that now. So how can we have evolved? Where's the evolve? Like, yeah, if electricity was to go... We've de-evolved. We're done. If that's not even the word. We're done like, here. We've yeah. regressed. Yeah. <laughs> as a people. So, anyway... Face tune, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, for, listen, but again, why why are people using it? Because there's this pressure to live up to a Who certain put that pressure on you. People put pressure on your stip. Okay. Sorry to cut you off. I know I'm just very like yeah. You know, I'm very passionate about this stuff. I don't mean to sound that you know. I don't mean to always sound negative, but let's be real. We, we live in a negative yeah environment. Very, yes, very yes. negative driven. Yes. and I'm just pointing out. Yeah. Certain things. And I'd like to very much dig into where these things come, come from. from. You know what I mean? Like, I've lost my train of thought. Wow. So we talked about Facetune <laughs> and what I said, like, you were like, okay, why why do people use it? And then I said, like, you need to also understand that there's a lot of pressure. And you said that people yeah. put pressure on themselves. You, who's putting who put pressure? No, no one like put a gun to your head and said, you know what I mean? You must look this way or you must... Da, da, da. People are putting these things on themselves because of the stuff that they're feeding themselves with. Yeah. You can choose not to feed yourself with yeah, that. but and you're saying that because you, again, are in tune. Remember, people yeah, are kids. Yeah, but I was also like this. I'm not just saying because... Yeah. I'm not just saying it because I was also... But you're a kid also... that grew up and is growing up. Some people mm. are still their five, six-year-old self. I'm being dead serious. No, no, you're right. To continue to treat people as their five, six-year-old self. Now, mm. obviously... Mm. Um, if, it's hard sometimes because yeah. even with some people you see major potential in and then you see them behave in a certain way and it's, yeah. it's hard to, do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you, but you, you see I, the you potential want, though. You want to treat them as the king that you see them or the queen that you see them but you're behaving like a jester. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So maybe, I, I, I guess you're right. You have to, you know, just the reality. Come down yeah, to the reality. Come down, come come down to where fantasy, it is. Yeah, it? exactly. <laughs> I guess so. Exactly. It's, just, yeah, it's difficult sometimes. Because though. again, in potential you could argue is almost like emotion. I'm not saying it's the same mm-hmm, thing but when mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. see so much potential in somebody, mm, if that person yeah. doesn't see it themselves, then unfortunately that's not a reality. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. going back to you're being right. a logical thinker, mm. unfortunately, if it's not tangible, if it's not there, then mm. it's, it, it yeah, isn't, yeah, you know? Yeah, 100%, right, yeah. Meet people where they are and you will just save yourself a lot of hassle and stress moving mm. forward, I think. Mm-hmm. Because when you, that whole potential that you see in somebody or like, oh, you know, I can really see you doing this. Mm. You you might overinvest your time and energy in that mm-hmm. person. I've done it so there many times, like with artists, you know what I'm saying, people that come in here as well. Yeah, you sometimes you put your all into someone and then they just yeah. Yeah. Let let not even let me down, but let themselves down yeah. differently. And it's just like, ah, there we go. Next. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, it might not be their time, they might not be ready, they might mm. be dealing with other battles or whatever it is. We do we truly don't know anybody because we don't mm. even know ourselves, ultimately, you know. But mm. um fair enough. Yeah, I think with that, just just that inner child. Yeah. Inner inner child. So you gotta talk to like I'm mm-hmm. I'm childish. No, I'm very silly as well. Like my inner child pops in and out all the time. It's mm. okay. But um yeah, I think that that's the best way to deal with it. No matter what age you are, mm. no matter who you think that person should be, mm. you just gotta meet them where they are. There might be someone who's like 30, but really they've got the capacity of a 15-year-old. Mm. A lot of guys who are still moving, doing the same things that you did when you were 15 at your big age, mm. you'll be there thinking. Mm. But if they haven't progressed out of that, mm-hmm. you know, what can you do? Stuck. Stuck. People yeah, are, there are stuck. A of, there are a lot, a lot of guys that are oh, just... <laughs> like, yeah. They and, haven't leveled up. Yeah. There's no growth. Yeah. There is the, they're literally the same. Yeah, it's true. You know, I bumped into some of my old, like, old, you know, friends. And they're still the same. Mm-hmm. But not in not necessarily like personality wise, because mm-hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with being, you know what I'm saying, the same personality. I mean, like if you're a happy, you were, you know, you was a happy kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, like, there's nothing wrong with yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, but in terms of just life and what they're doing and like there's no growth. Mm-hmm. Certain immature traits they haven't grown out of it or they haven't, you know, replaced it with better traits or you know what I mean? 
it's, it is a bit weird. Yeah. But it's hard. At the same time, it's like you can't judge because we were all there at one point, mm-hmm. I guess. No. And also, you can't save everybody. I think a lot of people yeah. suffer from savior complex. Not intentionally. Some mm-hmm. people just are. Oh, they just want to save everybody. But by you going out and saving other people, you compromise yourself. You but you know, it's not, like with some people, that could be their purpose. Like, yeah. They could find joy in that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so long but, as you're not compromising yourself, then that's fine. But a lot of people mm, do do that, unfortunately. Mm, 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 mm. You know? Because I think that the best way to help somebody is to be the best version of yourself. Mm, when you are mm, at 100, mm, I can help you. Mm-hmm. If I'm not 100, if I'm only 50%, sorry, mm, I'm just about scraping yeah, for to me, get by yeah. myself. Because How you're in survival you? mode. Yeah. That's another thing I was learning about. Yeah, survival mode. Like, it's... Like, there's no loyalty. Ah, oh, well, is it? Someone said this to me the other day. Um, uh, it was a Game of Thrones episode. Okay. And um, I'm bad with names. I always forget names. But basically, one of the characters, he left his um sister, who's a queen, mm-hmm. um, to go and fight for basically what would have been a rival um kingdom or family. Mm-hmm. Um, to go and fight the dead, and there was a, and then he got asked like, "Why are you here? Like, why are you?" Da, 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 da. Just paraphrasing, and he he made a statement. He said, "There's no loyalty in survival. Like, I'm here to fight, and so I'm here to survive yeah. now. There's no loyalty in survival." Mm-hmm. And I was just like, "Yo, that's deep," mm-hmm. and it made sense because I said I said earlier, women have a survival nature, survivalist nature, like. I'm yet to um, hear a woman say or see even a woman die for their man <laughs> or sacrifice their life okay. for their man or for even for their family. Like, even in the movies, you don't see that. Yeah. It's always the man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then, and I'm not just putting on women because I see it in the roads as well. Mm-hmm. There's no loyalty in surviving snitches. When you look at snitches, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to survive. Yeah. <laughs> they will snitch on everyone yeah. just to survive. Or not even just snitches, but like man on roads, you know what I mean? Like, kill, like the shoot and kill. And yeah. It's them in survival mode. You want, you want to progress by any means necessary. Any means necessary because there's no loyalty. I'm not loyal to my black brother, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I need to live. Mm-hmm. As a, there's a clip I, I literally just put on my Insta as well. It was Tupac saying that, saying something like, um, you know, I ain't um, see a brother with a gun or whatever. Like, he he doesn't want to kill. Mm-hmm. He just wants to live. Yes. Like, and I was just like, that's powerful, man. So I'm just yeah, spraying that. <laughs> that's been, yeah, that's powerful, man. Like, and... Yeah, it's because we're in survival nature yeah. a lot of the time. Like, you know, until your basic needs are taken care of, shelter, food, mm-hmm. clothing, mm-hmm. money. You notice when those things are taken care of, purpose. You, you can breathe. A that's bit. when people settle down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To now then start a family. You feel me? Anyway, I'm just kind of just running my yeah. train of thought right now. Yeah. But yeah, I hear what I hear what you're saying. I was gonna like bounce something off of what you said in terms of, um, not women. I can't remember what you said. You said something about women not um having not quote unquote loyalty, but not sacrificing no, themselves. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. And they like they wouldn't give up their life. Yeah. Yeah. No. They, uh, for their for their man. I'm, I'm not gonna get at you. What I'm gonna say is <laughs> yeah. this. Um, a lot of people, for example, when they level up, they tend to go for a particular class of woman, like mm-hmm. the kind of uh, I don't I don't know what to call these kind of women, but they're like socially aware, mm. um, and a lot of these women, when the man loses his money, mm. they're gone. Mm-hmm. They're not going to stay with you. Because they're going to move it's on their and nature find yeah sub to survive. Right. They will move and jump on. That's why I don't believe again. There's a lot of these like slogans and phrases that get thrown out, you know, mm-hmm. ride or die. Yeah. I've ne- women are not ride or dies. I'll be honest with you, they are riders. 
They are rioters. But they're not going to die. But they're not going to okay, die okay. for you. I agree. <laughs> it's a fact. It's fact. Yeah. They're not. I'm, I'm, there's barely... And there are the few. There are exceptions to the rule. Yeah. Don't ever get me wrong. There are the few. But it's very rare. Even down to Proverbs 31 woman... People miss the point of that scripture. Mm-hmm. It's all these amazing things and all these amazing attributes that they that they um, uh, list in the Proverbs thirty one scripture. But the key point that they miss is that this kind of woman is rare. Mm. <laughs> People on on Twitter are screaming, "I'm a Proverbs Proverbs thirty one woman." Da, 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 da. It's rare. That's the pick me. That's the like. It's a rare. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's you a are, rare you are, thing. You don't have to shout it's it. It's a rare jewel. Exactly. You don't have to shout. People, like, people will tell you that you are, you know? Exactly. Like, it's a, but it's a very, very rare type of woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I've never heard, I've barely heard stories. I've heard a few, but I've barely heard stories of a man becoming homeless with his woman. Mm-hmm. That woman is gone! Mm. She has to find the next thing to survive. Mm. The but, next man but, but or the yeah, next... But yeah, like you said, we sun. are survivors. So yeah. that's, that's what we've been taught. Like, we need... The older you get, the more that... Um, like, sustainability and comfortability becomes attractive to you, you know? And it's like, oh, why do you like this guy? Because he can provide for me. And there that doesn't... It's not even just the financial, like, oh my gosh, he's got a lot of money. But there's something about you know being consistent about oh he seems like somebody I can set up home with that's mm-hmm. that's what it is these kind of traits but that's the nature yeah. mm-hmm. the nature of women is to build is to do you understand is to not just nurture but to grow like like I said about the soil what does mm-hmm. the soil do it nurtures it grows mm-hmm. the seed and then do you understand it becomes this that's why women are powerful they are so powerful but it, it's like know. they're using that power in the wrong way for themselves to survive they're not using it to actually build and be part of building this. Do you okay, understand? but I think it comes down to trust for some women because it's not that they don't want to build and mm. grow. I think that some women think, are you worthy of me mm, helping mm, you grow? Mm, 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 and mm. also, when I help I think grow that's you... I thinking of it in the wrong way. And though. I hear what you're saying, but, um, I, but the thought is like, still there. The thought is oh, yeah, still yeah, there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if I grow you, are you going to still be around at the end? Or are you still going to... Be loyal to me at the end. Again, or that's, are you that's, gonna? That's I, yeah, self. I know, but yeah, still, you can't help saying. the thought. No, Do you know absolutely. what I mean? Because yeah. of this day and age that we're in. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Where everything is just. All over the place. Yeah, the you, you do something order, for me, I'll do something yeah, for you. Yeah. Like the mm-hmm. natural order is a mess. Yeah. It's so effed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've I, I read that the, um, the, the liberal women's movement um, was funded by um, the Roth, um, Rothschild. Rothschild's family mm-hmm. for two reasons. Two main reasons, anyway. One of them was um, prior to that, they couldn't tax. Um, they couldn't tax everyone. Remember, because when, once you're married and you're in a family, you're taxed on the one mm-hmm. um, name. Yeah. But um, so now, basically, to split up the family, now you can now tax women to get women into the work mm-hmm. environment. Because initially, the work the a woman the woman's First job was the home mm-hmm. first. Anything else after that was yeah. done the same. Secondary, yeah. But the first job was the home, the household, the the, the taking care of the children in the house, in the home. Um, but after that, when when the women's liberal, liberal movement and the feminism and the sexual liberation, all of that stuff that came into play, it got women into the working place. Women left the household and went into the working place. Now they can be taxed. Mm-hmm. Secondly, the second reason, and this came out of their mouth, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the second reason. Was because um, we've now that they have women working, the children um, were put into schools earlier. Mm-hmm. And then, because prior to that, te- the first teachers were the mothers. So, um, prior, yeah. So now that they're put into the schools earlier, they can be indoctrinated. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Earlier by whatever the school system or whatever yeah. wants to indoctrinate. So those are the two main reasons for. They didn't care about like all of that shit. They. The, those are the two main reasons to push and to fund the women's uh, liberation movement. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things, and I, it makes me even question that, not even question, but it made me look into all these other movements of today. Who's funding them? Mm-hmm. Why are they funding? It's, it, it, it's all agenda based. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the outside, it looks innocent. And when you, I always look to the inside, what's really happening behind the scenes? 
and you find out that there's, there's a serious agenda. Right? And it's not, not a very nice one either. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. So, again, women are very, very powerful beings, spiritually especially. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I was trying to compete with men physically. Like, can you say that again, please? Can you no say that again? I I I really it, want you to say that illogical. again. It's illogical because yeah, there isn't. I think people need to really, really understand that the role that a woman has and a man has is two different, two roles, different roles, and there's no need to be envious Why of the other. Compete? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, women are so like incredibly powerful mm-hmm. when they are in that in alignment with that. Purpose and but it that, goes back down to like, being in tune. Not everyone's exactly, in tune. Exactly. Why? Because we're on Instagram reading quotes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Made by, you know, someone that was hurt and then we're oh, emotionally connected yeah. to it. And then we start acting out that that quote or whatever that we yeah. saw. You know what I mean? And it's just we <laughs> not realizing we're fucking up ourselves and our family and, mm-hmm. and you know what I mean. Someone put it to me th- uh, this way, and I I've ever since then I've been mind blown, like Prophets had followers, right? Mm. So when you look at Instagram or all social media, what do they call you? They call you followers. Mm. So a lot of people are like projecting themselves as prophets. Mm. And, you know, a lot of people are easily misled. It's people are sheep Mm -hmm. and people do. If you say people know this, people know how to push that in people's buttons. Like, okay, mm. this is my agenda. I know if I say this, this and this, this kind of person is going to follow me. Mm, mm, mm. Or I'm going to anger this kind of person and mm. all the while, they they don't really care about the people that are following them. They're just mm. using it to follow their, uh, to further their agenda, mm-hmm. I should say as Absolutely. well. So I think that they're, but then even predating that, we got asked what was the purpose of social media as well? Like, did mm. the people that came up with this construct think that that was what was going to happen as mm, well? Mm, mm. Um, I, 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 I watched a few interviews by some of the creators of um, Facebook mm-hmm. and stuff, and they admitted that they deliberately created certain um, features to make people addicted to mm-hmm. the that social app, media. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, with Facebook, um, the little... Whenever you hear that in the chat or whatever, it's like, you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like a little bit of dopamine gets released mm-hmm. in the brain. It's actually drugs. It's like drugs. The mm-hmm. same thing that happens with drugs. Or even food or whatever. You can dopamine, get addicted to anything. Absolutely. You can get addicted to anything. That's yep. too much of anything. Yep. It's, not good, it's not good for you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these things were deliberately designed. And they actually said, they admitted that they regretted designing it. Why? This way. So, so, they, so who told them to come and do it in the first place? Bad, they're seeing how bad, you know what I mean? It's, yeah created us as a society and yeah. all, you know as a nation and, and whatnot but they were deliberately <laughs> and I, I read the other day again that Instagram are not you know fiddling about with you know potentially removing the, the numbers and the likes well, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. yeah but you know I'm I'm worried that people are going to commit suicide like they are going to be people I know I know it sounds crazy <laughs> but I've seen videos of people crying because Instagram block them or Instagram, yeah. you know, stop their whatever or, you know, like people literally, what am I going to do with my life? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Like I've seen videos of that. So that's, <laughs> sounds funny, but it actually worries me. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like this year, you've got someone addicted to drugs, now heavily addicted to drugs. And now you're taking that drug, those drugs away from mm-hmm. them. Like, what what happens to people like that? Like they go mad. They start robbing, killing, shooting just to get money to you know what I mean to mm-hmm. try and get that drug or or they end up killing themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's that's the part. It's just worrying, man. It's weaning it's yourself. A... I think you have to go cold turkey. There was a point in my life where I would wake up in the morning and go on social media for like an hour mm-hmm. scrolling every day scrolling 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 ask me what's going on in this person's life I can tell you well from what I see mm-hmm. on social media mm-hmm. or what's going on in the shade room and whatever the best thing I did for myself was unfollow the shade room mm-hmm. in fact the best thing I did for myself was delete Instagram the only reason mm-hmm. I'm back on there is because of the, yeah, of the podcast yeah, yeah. otherwise I don't mm-hmm. need to be I said to myself it's not worth it and I started waking up in the morning and reading a book 
Mm. Or getting up and like making sure I pray, getting up and mm. just doing something around the house that actually is mm-hmm. for me. Because I, I need to look after me. Why am I mm-hmm. so investing in what other people Man, are doing? Trust me. You know, I don't need to know this information. It's all it's all mm-hmm. irrelevant. It's irrelevant to me. It's not helping me. Mm-hmm. There might be one or two people that like maybe they give you inspirational quotes for the day. Mm. But even still, like, I don't we don't yeah, need yeah. all of this even the lighting from the phone and whatever mm-hmm. it's bad for you man it's not good yeah. for you so yeah just kind of saying do you know what I'm not gonna be on this mm. I remember like when I used to like be by myself I would come home and literally fling my phone mm. that's good man fling it that's good I started uh, I think what helped me was I started putting my phone on silent took off the vibrate mm-hmm. um, sometimes even take off notifications mm-hmm. Because I noticed all of these little things. When you hear WhatsApp, bing, like, you're just, it's like, oh shit, let me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, no, that, it's the drug kind that of doesn't thing. Give so. me, that doesn't give me, because I know you, I feel like when you're younger, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, you want to, you you want your phone to be popping now? Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, but no, somebody wants something, it. somebody yeah. wants something, and I, I, I can't help them. So mm. for me, when my phone goes off, it's not a joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not joy yeah, for me. Yeah. But yeah, for some people, you're right. Mm. They are looking for that. And do you know what? It's it. It's inevitable almost because if I post something, like mm. for example, in regard in regards to the pod- podcast mm. for that day on a Sunday, I know what I'm like. I am glue. My phone yeah, is like no, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am like this because mm. I want to see like, oh, who said this, who whatever, instead of like, there's very few people that can post mm. their art or whatever and just leave it and move away. Mm. That's what I do. I, 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 that's why I switch off my notifications. Mm-hmm. I literally have them off. Like, and then I'll, you know, occasionally I'll go into the Instagram and then boom, I'll see bare. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But even that is almost addictive as well. Like, mm. but yeah, you just have to wean yourself off with the little things first. Like, mm. take, I take my phone off silent. If I miss a call, I'll call you back when I have the time. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't owe you a kid. Like, yeah. I don't. <laughs> it's not urgent, like, you know what I mean? I, uh, all of that stuff, I just, yeah. And then that, it slowly detached me from social media. And then before I used to be about the numbers, do you know what I'm saying? But mm. now I'm just like, I actually don't care. Like, I've weaned myself off of that gradually, gradually. So, and now, you know, I focus on, I try to focus on other things, man, like building this business, man. Yeah. Which is what we used and this yeah. is talking well, about. Do you know what? It's like? <laughs> we've come back. You know, we've we've, we've oh, come snap. back. We've come back to where we were supposed to be in the oh, first man. place. Which, yeah, um, <laughs> of, obviously, I'm so like, sorry. no, it's like that's that's <laughs> life. You kind of do oh, talk man. about other things, and then you come back onto it. And it's been yeah. a really good conversation, anyway. Oh, yeah, but definitely. I do want to kind of pick your brain, yeah, because he's like you are more humble. You're really humble in regards to the work that you do. Thank you. Um, and I think a lot of people would benefit from hearing you. So, like, I want to know how you got into music in the first place. Music, man. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, you know, there's always music. There was always music in my in my household. Mm-hmm. From when my dad was around, mm-hmm. there was music. My mom, there was music. It was a lot of traditional music, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah but I, I used to play drums at church a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had that. That taught me, you know, a bit of responsibility from young. Um, and Were then you self-taught? Kind of, but I I don't think you're, you're ever really self-taught. I don't okay. know if I like that statement, self-taught, because you're never really self-taught okay. because you're always picking up from somewhere. So, so that means you're learning. Mm-hmm. So something is teaching you, yeah. you know what I'm saying, in different ways. But I would learn from the other drummers, you know what I'm yeah, saying? The people up, I would yeah. look up to at church and stuff. Yeah. And then I'll do my research on MySpace and for other uh, gospel chops. There was something called gospel chops. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, I used to watch a lot of drum videos. And, and then I got into producing, man, from like 13. Um, what made you get into producing? That, you know that's what? a massive step. You know what? Yeah. I I think the first thing that made me get into producing or wanting to be some sort of like producer or beat maker um, I was in the, the Aaliyah video with mm-hmm. Timberland um, I didn't know who this guy was but I I noticed him more in that video because he rapped in that that tell me that somebody mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. like I noticed him more in that video because he rapped in the video mm-hmm. 
But prior to that, I was seeing him in a lot of other videos. He was there, but I didn't understand who he was. Yeah, who's Timberland? What, who is okay. this guy who's mm-hmm. always in the videos, but he's never doing anything? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And then like, eventually, I learned... yeah. <laughs> eventually I learned that he was the guy that made the beat. Mm-hmm. So it made sense. It's like it all kicked in. I was like, nah, that's sick. Mm-hmm. I was proper young, like 97, I think, when that song came out. So I always, from then, I, I knew that I wanted to do something like that. Mm-hmm. And then um, when I was around 12, 13, there was like a, a CD that was going around in my school mm-hmm. and people were passing it around let me borrow it I can put it on my computer and I didn't know what it was and there's a software called Reason and that allowed you to make beats and create beats and stuff and so I got my hands on it um, I was uh, my good friend Mark Asari like um, I kind of learned from him he would teach me a lot of stuff like we used to back then it was floppy disk so mm-hmm. we used to swap floppy disks I will listen to his beats on the floppy disk do you know what then... someone said <laughs> sorry to cut you off yeah. but someone said like um, he, he found like an old school floppy disk in his house mm. and his kid said to him dad why are you holding the safe sign in your hand safe sign <laughs> as in they don't know what that is oh my that's God. crazy but sorry cut, yeah, carry on yeah floppy disk old school man yeah but, yeah and then I used to listen to his beats and I'll give him my he'll listen to my beats and then we Exchange, exchange, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then I used to study a lot of like the Neptunes, Timberland. Mm-hmm. So I'll I'll start off remaking their beats, and that's how I got to you know learn how to use the actual software. And then eventually you start to find it on identity, and then um, yeah, it's, it used to be me and Mark, man. We used to just be you know um, we used to be everywhere, man. And then um, we got noticed by um, these rappers, these gospel rappers called mm-hmm. G Force. Mm-hmm. Um, they got us to come down to their church. They listen to our beats. These times it's CD now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they listen to our beats. Um, they loved it, man. And then, yeah, they just gave us the opportunity to produce for them. So we produced their EP and we produced their album. 3,000 people came to the event mm-hmm. and then um, got nominated for Mobile 2007. Mm-hmm. 2007? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they won the Mobile 2007. So I'm like 17 with mobile to my name but it wasn't my own personal mobile right. it was the GeForce mobile so, yeah. but we were part of GeForce in that sense so you know I was gassed 17 was I 17? yeah 17 gassed you know didn't get to go to the show unfortunately but um, but it was little things like that these little humble beginnings do you know what I mean like kept me humble as well because being around them, they were very they were Christian, but they were very real. Like they were just they were just themselves. And that what that's what kept me, you know, I was able to see that, yeah, Yo, you can actually just be your normal self, you know what I mean? Like, so that's what kept me humble and all of that. Um and then yeah, eventually produced my own album, did my own concert, two thousand people sold out. Then I got nominated for Mobile two thousand and nine. I hope I'm getting the dates right. <laughs> two thousand and nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2009, yeah, and then I won that, and yeah, I was just happy to just go down to the, to the, you know, to the event and um, meet all these people that I just grew up listening to, man. I just loved all these artists and stuff, but I saw the industry, started to see the industry for what it was from, mm, from, from early, early, yeah, you know. So that's kind of yeah, that's kind of how I got into it, and I just carry on my journey, man. You know, just building, you know. Just trying to be, trying to... I always said, I think at the time, before I got into that gospel scene, I always said that this music is dead. And I didn't mean that in a, more, I didn't mean that in a disrespectful way, but it was just like, this, like, I listen. I know what I listen to. Yeah. I'm hearing R&B, hip-hop, pop, you know, there's this level, there's a standard. Mm-hmm. Timberland, Dark Child, mm-hmm, I'm listening mm-hmm, to the best mm-hmm. of the best. Mm-hmm. Then I come into the Christian scene, I'm like, yo, this music is dated, mm-hmm. dead. I love the message. It's positive, but the sound is dead. I said, nah, this needs to change. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we did with GeForce. We changed it. We made it youthful. And that's why so many youth, even to this day, still remember us and still remember our albums and what we've done. Like, and that means everything to me. Like, being able to... I remember I used to get messages from people about, you know, this song on my album saved them from committing suicide. They were ready to, you know, commit suicide. I'll get messages from people in prison, you know, saying that, you know, 
my album, my album is holding them together. Like bare things. Even to this day, people come back to me and say, "Yo, Vic, that that album or that, you know what I mean? What yeah. you were doing back then, yo, that's what kept me going. It was what kept me off the roads. It's what this, that, and other. You get me? So, like that was like my my rewards. That was my award. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like or reward, rather. Um, hearing that, you know, just knowing that purpose, man, over everything. Purpose over everything. And I was saying this the other day in my studio talk, like, I didn't really care about awards. Like, I never really cared about awards. Like, and that sounds cliche, but it's actually the truth. Like, I actually didn't care about awards. Like, it was nice to receive them. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. But that wasn't the but driving force. it was force. never, ever the driving force. Mm-hmm. That's why when I got nominated, I was shocked. Yeah. I was like, huh? Like... <laughs> <laughs> and any other award I was getting nominated for, I was shocked because it was just like, okay, like, raw, like. But, you know, it was never, ever, I just love music, man. F everything else. That's like, a beautiful thing I mean? to say, like, that no, you it's actually real. just like, love what you're doing, <sighs> yeah. Come on, man. How do you, how could you not, like, love what you're doing? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, you'd be surprised. Be. You'd be surprised. Yeah, this day and age, there's a lot of people who are in music. They don't mm. give a damn about it. It's like, you know, they're just here to make money. <sighs> and then when that's done, it's then they're going to hop into time, another man. avenue and make money from that and whatever. So it's, you know... It's a very difficult time. Yeah. But that being said, there are a lot of good things as well. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's, a lot of things are more accessible. Power can be shifted, you know, you know more into our hands as well. Yeah, into the artist's hands, yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it is. there's a lot of things... It's just that I come from a different era, yes. an era of, you know, where things were a certain way. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, you, you come it, from it still an wasn't the best fine, era as well. But, but you st- you, I know what you mean. There's a certain yeah. standard and fine art. There's a there's a certain it's level like of pride art, yeah, in your art as well. Yeah. You're not just putting it it's out like, to put imagine it out. God yeah. making the world <laughs> just to get paid. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it's just... It's like God made it and he said, this is good, man. Mm-hmm. Damn. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, this yeah, yeah, is yeah. good. Like, after every little thing, each day that, you know, went, went past, he'd made yeah. something. He's like, yo, this is good. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Like, he loved what he was doing when he was creating the earth yeah. and uh, designing it. And you know what I mean? I mean the mountains, like, let's get the birds and the yeah. flying and all of that good mm-hmm. stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and then he chilled and rested. Damn, let me just enjoy it. Like, this is sick. Get me? Man made all of this. Yo. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And he didn't, put, he didn't put his tag on it. His fingerprint is all, his DNA is all up in it, but he didn't put his tag on it. Mm-hmm. Like, and say, yo, God on the beat. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the most high on the beat. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's not to discredit anyone that puts their tag on it. Yeah, like, yeah, I get, yeah. I get why I, we yeah, do it. I can it's understand why you do age. it, yes. People There's have to no still... There's no... Uh, booklets that we can read, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To, you know what I mean? So Yeah, people don't check the, the credits or anything. You know I mean? yeah, so yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. You know what I mean? And it does bring more business to you as mm-hmm. well. But, you know, there was a time where your tag was your sound. You get me? Mm. And you, you really honed in on your craft and your sound to, you know what I'm saying? Mm. To the point where it's stamped in history as the Neptune sound or mm. the Timberland sound mm-hmm. without having to put your tag on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I ever once heard the Neptune say the Neptune's on the beat or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Did you ever see the um the clash between Timberland and Swiss Beats? Oh, I loved it. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. And that's the stuff that we used to do when we were young. Mm-hmm. We used to do all of this, like... Even uh, recently, we've done a press play session here where... um. We opened up because we do this normally anyway as producers. We just come and we play our beats. Like we ain't seen each other for a month or two. Mm-hmm. Come, we just come and play our beats. It was getting mad. So we said, "Oh, let's open it up to the public." So we opened it. This was last year. Opened it up to the public, and we got everyone to just come down. Artists, A and R's, producers, man. Everyone was going in turn just playing their music. It was crazy. The talent is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. The talent in the UK is unbelievable, man. Like, there's so many songs on hard drives that people ain't heard. And it's just like, whoa, like... So what's what's the what's the barrier from getting... Because when I look at America, there's music coming out every single day from yeah, left, right and centre. Yeah, but most center. of it is shit, let's be honest. Okay, yeah, so no, no, I'm, I'm not I'm But not there's, there's a lot of it yeah. in also... In, you're, we're only here, remember there's the 80-20 rule, right. or even 90 10 rule. Mm-hmm. We're only hearing 10% or 20% of what they really have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, and I think America, we see America because it's so 
big. Big, yeah, yeah, sure. We are still one, even one oh. state in America can be bigger than the UK. But we've given them so much power as well. Like, I, yes, they are big in size, don't get me wrong, but they're big also because... I don't know. I feel like Americans have overinflated themselves and we as the rest of the world have allowed them to because realistically, my day is not centred around what's going on with mm, you guys, but mm, they mm. genuinely think that. They because think they that own everybody... 60% of the media. Mm. If, probably, if not more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They own majority of the media. Facebook, where is that created? Yeah. Twitter, where is that created? Instagram, where is that created? Like, yeah. they own, they are the superpower. You know what I mean? They was crumbling. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's crumbling. But right now, that is yeah, what it is. They're still up there, yeah. So, you know, this is just what... This is the cards we've been dealt right now. We just have to, you know... We can't control them. We can only control us. Oh, so yeah, so. for sure. And that that's that's the thing. Like I saw Miss Banks tweet like not long ago. She mm. was um well obviously the Stormzy tweet came out that now he's got sixty million or he's mm, that's, mm, that's his mm, net worth. Mm, well, mm. obviously shout out to him for mm-hmm. that. Um, and she was like, you know, I want people to like promote me and like support me mm, mm. the same way that you know. Mm. She's not taking anything away from him, of mm, course mm, not. Mm, but mm. like, I, I, I also want to be held in high regard and whatever. Mm, and it's true. Mm, there's mm. a lot of good talent, and people be like, "Yeah, you're good, you're this." Mm, mm, mm. But we don't support our own traditionally. Mm. That's that's what a lot of people tend to say. Mm, um, mm. And I, I don't know how true that is, though. Like, I think I think we do support our own. Like. We we definitely do. I mean, how did Stormzy get there? Like, oh, yeah, that's true. We not support Stormzy. Do you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. But it's, 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 I think we, like, we can choose. I feel like we complain too much. Okay. Do the work. Mm. People, like, I miss Bank. I'm not, it's not even to miss Bank because that's, that's my dog. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not even to, I'm just saying generally, I think we complain too much. Like it's the British way. We haven't. We, we, yeah, like <laughs> what work have we done? Listen, I've been to America so many times, and mm-hmm. I've been in studios. When I say that they don't sleep, mm. they do not sleep. Mm-hmm. They are working. Like I don't know how they do it. There's there's some engine in them that's. Just, you know what I mean, it just never stops. Mm-hmm. They like they are working like uh, you'd think they're a zombie the way they work. Like it's constantly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we here, we're just, we're very, you know, like, any little thing. Ah. <laughs> like, we don't work. Pe- like, there was this thing about engineers I saw the other day, you know. Engineers putting tags or on the beats and stuff like that. And I just think, like, uh, I don't know if there's anything. There is, I don't know if there's, I understand to a degree why engineers are now putting tags on beats. But at the same time, I just think, like, does anyone do the work anymore? Mm. Why does anyone focus on being excellent? Focus on being excellent. And yeah. that's one thing I learned in the gospel scene. They will praise you for anything. <laughs> they will praise you for anything. You could be the shittest artist. Do you know what I'm saying? But because you're praising God, they will praise you and yeah. tell you that you're amazing. But you have no skill. Where's your skill? Where mm-hmm. do you, like, work. I come from an era of work. Mm-hmm. Putting them, not just 10,000 hours, 20, 30,000 hours. Mm-hmm. Work. Build that shit. The more you build that shit, the more you build your, do you know what I'm saying? It naturally just over, your cup runneth over. Yeah. Naturally just overflows and everyone will flock to you. You don't even have to put your name on anything. You know what I'm saying? People yeah. gravitate towards you because your work has spoken. Like, work. People will support you. Mm-hmm. Work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Keep working and keep putting out. It's very simple. I don't think it's a case of, you know... I think people are also people looking are for instant gratification. Yeah. Um, and Definitely. People need to understand that longevity, there is something about it. Most people's success doesn't come overnight. It but doesn't. We, but we, mine hasn't. Yeah, even mine. Yeah. Like, and I've had to reinvent myself constantly. Do you know what I'm saying? Just keep... You know what I mean? It's like it, it transitions into the next thing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm running a studio and I don't even, I'm not even an artist anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't put out music like that anymore. Mm-hmm. I still produce, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But it's been transitioning. Like, now I'm focusing on this, the studio. Yeah. Cr- creating a, you know, a place that people can, you know, come here and record and not just record, but receive artist development based on, you know, everything that I've learned growing, That's you know, lacking as well in this in industry. This, in oh this my God, yeah. it is. It's lacking because it's almost like it's not needed anymore. Mm-hmm. And really, it is needed. 
if you want to last in mm-hmm. this industry mm-hmm. or, you know, have a career, not just a one-hit wonder, but it's definitely needed. Like, but because we're in the era of, you know, I could just put out my music today. I could start making music yesterday yeah. and put it out today mm-hmm. and people will champion it and, you know, get the numbers up. And I'll blown. And then the labels will will sign me because I have numbers. Oh no, sign your song. Or sign the song or whatever, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I have the numbers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then like and I don't need yeah. What what the fuck I need uh artist development for? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Until you go on stage and then <laughs> you can't breathe on stage mm-hmm. or <laughs> you can't uh you can't uh connect with your crowd. Mm-hmm. You, ha- you know what I mean? Or yeah. you can't if the if the sound, you know, fucks up. You're there left on stage thinking, shit, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. What do I do? What? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? shows I did where well, the sound was fucking up? And I had to learn on the spot. Yeah. Yo, guys, so what's everyone saying? Are oh, you day been? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's play a quick game. I had to come up with games yeah, yeah. <laughs> to keep the crowd Going, interacting. Yeah, yeah. Like, but that's because you, that goes back to you caring. Yeah, and it also goes back to you caring. Some people do not care, like, about their craft. Mm, mm, and mm. when you don't care, you mm. will just churn out whatever and put it out. And if it's not great, okay, fine, cool. I'll just try it with the mm, next mm, one. Mm. Um, so mm. I think that there's that as well. If you have pride in what you're doing, you're going to think a lot mm. before you even click send, you know, to, mm, mm, to mm, or mm, publish mm. or whatever it is mm. that you're doing. Like, what oh, was it? Because when, when you listen to certain tracks, you can tell. Mm-hmm. You can tell. You can, you're like, wow, like... Okay, mm. this person really took the time to put all of it together. Mm-hmm. And I think also to artists as well, if you are putting in the work and you're not getting the instant recognition, that is okay. It's fine. You're going to last anyway there was a time if you where, keep going. Yeah. There was a time where our artists, like, what's, maybe let's say maybe they got signed or whatever, mm-hmm. maybe like two, three years before they ever came out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Within that two, three years, they were going through artist development. They're doing mm. little shows here and there. They were doing, you know what I mean? Building up the buzz. You need up to build up a fan base shit. as well. Yeah, the yeah. foundation. Yeah. Building that. If your foundation is not strong, it's a wrap for you. Mm-hmm. I'm saying. But now, it's completely different, man. But it's what it is, man. Yeah, for real. For real. It's what it is. We just have to work with what we've got, I guess, mm-hmm. and build on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so. A 14-year-old or 13-year-old comes up to you and says, like, how do you get into music? I want to get into music. What do I do? What what would what would be, like, your best bit of advice to take? Can person? I be very honest? Yeah. If a 13, 14-year-old came yeah. up to me and asked me that question, I'd say to them, go and do your research. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing I'd say to you. Mm-hmm. Go and do your research. Do you love music first and mm-hmm. foremost? Mm-hmm. Like, t- those certain questions jar me. I'm not, not even a disrespectful yeah, yeah, way, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. just like... It almost shows me your intention. You don't, you don't actually love music. Mm-hmm. For me to come and ask me that, some, like it's almost like love music first and foremost. Love music. Mm-hmm. Love music from the past. Love mm-hmm. music from the now, and see what you know. What I'm saying. You well, how are you to gonna it add to it? Yeah. For the mm-hmm. future. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Like the questions I would like, like big. I'm trying to learn drums. If even like, even like. Let's say you want to learn to record yourself. Like, there's so much on. It. You're not using this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're not using this. This is like this is everything right now. There's so much. Google it. YouTube, man. How do I get into the, Google, the mm, industry? Mm, there mm. are books. There are ways to. You know what I'm saying. I, I understand. You know, coming to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not bashing. I'm just saying it. Mm-hmm. Just it, it kind of shows me where you where you're at. Like, okay. almost like do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like. Like, uh, come with me to you know your your knowledge of music. Come with me to your that shows me. All right, cool. There's 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 something I can work with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I can direct you. I can actually show you where to, you know, who to go to, where to go to, what to really do. You know what I'm saying like certain questions like pick the industry, man. I know it's a bit shady. Like you know what I'm saying like what kind of what's the best way to approach the industry? What's the best way? Like you know what I mean? Don't mm-hmm. kind of. I'm probably just waffling right now. But no, it's fine. No, right. no, no I, hear, kinda, I hear you. I just feel like we have uh, initiative. We've got to use initiative. We've got to use, you know. Have to think critically. Use, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Think for ourselves now, yeah, man. Yeah. No one's thinking for themselves anymore. They want everyone to think for them. Mm-hmm. 
Like, it's like it's it's a chore to think for yourself now. Like, critical thinking is a lost art, man. <laughs> it really well, is. We're trying to teach it in school. It really is a lost <laughs> art. I feel like schools have... Uh, if I'm being dead serious, yeah, mm. schools have just been designed to dumb people down, man. People are re- just receivers of information and yeah, don't question no it. no one actually questions, questions yeah. anymore. No one actually goes and does research and looks into something mm-hmm. and studies mm-hmm. something. Like, I never went up to anyone and asked them, oh, how do I get in the industry? Like, no. I did my research. Before I even go and ask anyone, jumps mm-hmm. in anything. Like, how do I get into the industry? It's a very weird question mm-hmm. when you think about it. Like, how do, I, how do I get into the industry? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. Mm-hmm. You know? I should be very honest. Like, just, yeah. yeah. I just like to be very honest, man. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. What do you think would be a better question to ask somebody who's seasoned? Like yourself? Um, or what kind of questions do you get that you like appreciate the most? How did you get to where you are? You yeah. Yeah, because right yeah, because you would do that at an interview, like yeah, yeah. yeah. How what you know, how did you Vic, get to where you are right now? Mm-hmm. Like what was your journey like? What kind of, you know, what kind of things did you, you know, do? Or what kind of things did you even regret doing? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shows me someone's, like, angle. You know, that shows me, you know, all right, it's, he's serious about, you know what I'm saying? Rather than, how, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I feel like people are looking for this quick Quick fix. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Quick, what's the it's quick way to just... Yeah. No, big. what was the journey that you took? You know what I'm saying? What kind of, you know, because I see everything you've done. I see, da, 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 but I know this shit ain't easy, B. I know that, you know, like, what was what was your journey like? What was your, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You'll get a much better answer from me from that one, bro. Mm-hmm. Rather than how do I get into the industry? <laughs> this, yeah, you know what I mean? I go and research. Go and research A&Rs. Go and research. Do you know what A&R is? Do you know what, uh, you know, a publisher? Do you know what publishing? Most of these kids don't even know what PRS is. That one draws me the most. This That's your main way of making money in this industry. Mm. Long-term money. They don't know what PRS is. They don't know what, uh, you know, ASCAP and BMI are and all of these things that is really going to pay you. Mm-hmm. All they know is... How do I um, get my stuff on GRM so that I can get the numbers? That's it. Yeah. That's scary, man. It's scary. I find myself re-educating people. Guys, fuck numbers. <laughs> I have to just be literally blunt. Fuck all of that shit. Love music. Mm-hmm. That's the first Love thing. Love what you're doing. First yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love that. Because that is what will get you through the times where you ain't got no money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and you're going through the hard times. Your love for music is what's going to keep you going yeah. in those hard times or when the money ain't coming in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then we'll figure out the rest. Like, what? Well, ah, man. It's okay. <laughs> it's, my, it's my passion and love for, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. But, yeah. you know, there are the few gems out there, man. I've seen, I've come to this studio, young ones that I can see they love music, man. And it's mad because I realise there's that saying hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. It's such a true statement because mm-hmm. I've seen so many talented kids come in here, man, and they're lazy. Mm-hmm. But they're so talented. But they're lazy and they take it for granted, you can see. Mm-hmm. But then there's the ones that aren't that great, but they come here every week, mm-hmm. every week. They're paying every week. And like as the time goes by, I see that they're getting better and better and better and better. You have to learn. They hustle. Yeah, yeah you like, have to learn. And I'm just like, yo, yeah. this kid. These are people that I will put and that I would invest in. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? This kid, he's like, he's got discipline. He's coming in here. He's never late. He's always on time. He's always. Do you know what I'm saying? Making new music all the time. Those are the kids. Those are the people that will win. Mm-hmm. Those are the people to me. They're gonna win and they're gonna win long term because they have that initial you no know, principle. You know what I mean? Yeah. But 
Anyway. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, we've come to the end That's of the me, show brother. anyway. But <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you for having me. Man. Um, for I know I talk a lot. For your knowledge and insight. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Like you, you're not talking uh, and just see. This is the thing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with talking a lot, provided that you're saying something. Mm. You know, a lot of people Finally, talk man. a lot yeah. and they, they, they're waffling. They're not really, mm-hmm. They don't really have anything to say. So that's okay. Mm. One more time, where can people find you? Um, yeah, hit me up on the Instagram, Vic Tizzle Music, or the studio Instagram, Vic Smith Studios. Yeah, yeah, Vic Smith Studios. Or VicSmithStudios.com. Um, yeah. Hit me up, man. If anything's triggered you, then where? <laughs> All I can say is just do your research, man. Do your research, <laughs> do your research. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Okay, and me again, Advice with Alex at, uh, well, let me, let me say on Twitter and Instagram. And then obviously you can follow me as well from Alexandra X on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Mm. Um, and just a quick disclaimer as well. It's not by force for you to take our advice, but obviously you've been doing it for a long time. So remember, don't ask how can you get into something sit down and talk to the person that, you know, whose advice that you're seeking and get mm. to know them as well and understand their journey mm, and understand mm. that this it's not a quick fix. On that note, guys, thanks very much for watching or for listening. Take care. Bye. <laughs>